Let's discuss. Um, let me start with you, Congresswoman. AOC seemed to suggest that Pelosi was singling out the so-called squad to leave Omar, AOC, and Congresswoman Presley um, because they are people of color. Um, and uh, what did you make of that? Well, I can say that Nancy Pelosi made me the second Latina in the history of Congress to serve on the Committee for Energy and Commerce. So in my experience as a woman of color and the only Latina elected in the entire country in 2016, um, she has helped me um, to get on the most powerful and exclusive committee. Do you think AOC has gone too far, or is this something? Is there something else going here? I, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm actually just annoyed by the whole thing. I think the more time that Democrats spend going after each other is another day and another missed opportunity to go after this unfit president. Uh, we have an administration that is today terrorizing people all across this country. Uh, we got issues that are piling up, quite frankly, of legitimacy, looking into what exactly happened um, uh, through the Mueller report and digging deeper into that. And yet, we've got folks who are pointing their weapons at each other, uh, trying to take one another out. And, and my, my big fear here is, aside from the electoral one, um, say what you will about the four members of Congress that you, you named. Um, their constituency is not just the people back in their districts. They represent a rising voice within the Democratic Party and also outside the Democratic Party within the country that is frustrated by the status quo. Mm -hmm. And I think that silencing them uh, or appearing to silence them will have real consequences. So they ought to get in the room, figure it out, stop going back and forth between each other over television and in magazine interviews <laughs> or in tweets mm -hmm. and settle this thing uh, <coughs> the way that they should as leaders, uh, uh, not out here in the public. A little schadenfreude for you maybe, Scott. Yeah, I, <coughs> I have to say I hope this place is lightning proof because <laughs> I'm going to say it. Thank God for Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> it, took, it took, it <laughs> took, and I know this is going to be used against me someday in the near future, but it took them saying Nancy Pelosi was a racist yep. for everyone to realize how dumb and vapid that argument really is. Now, they've been doing it to Republicans for the last two or three, five, 10, 15, 20 years. When they finally turned it on Pelosi, Marine Dowd in the New York Times and everyone, oh, whoa, this is not a great argument. Just because someone disagrees with you doesn't make them a racist. So guess what? Thank God for Nancy Pelosi. Now she's coddled this argument and now Frankenstein's monsters out of the barn and terrorizing the countryside. But thank God for her that people realize not everyone you don't like in politics is a racist or hates women or whatever it is. Okay, but fair enough. But <clears throat> sometimes people do use racism or at least xenophobia or whatever bigotry to appeal to people. Let us now turn to the <laughs> tweets that were sent by President Trump this morning in which he told progressive Democratic Congresswomen who originally came from countries whose governments are a complete and total catastrophe, the worst, most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world, et cetera, uh, and are viciously telling the people of the United States, the greatest and most powerful nation on earth, how our governments to be run. Why don't they go back and help the fix, help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? Now, first of all, uh, Cuccinelli wouldn't say who President Trump was talking about, but if we're talking about those four congresswomen, only one of the four was born in a different country, Ilhan Omar from Minnesota. She is a U.S. citizen. She came to this country legally uh, and has, and. I, I, what do you make of the president telling them to go back where they came from? I mean, he was on strong ground saying Nancy Pelosi is not a racist. <laughs> Look at these crazy people. They fling around these accusations for political benefit, and it's meaningless. But then he gets on Twitter this morning, maybe because he wanted in on the fight, because he wasn't getting enough attention, and says, go back to your home countries. Maybe some people do think the Bronx is a foreign country. <laughs> okay. um, but this is just, it's too much. But these are things you hear on Fox News all the time. If you don't like it, go back to where you came from. And he's just parroting that. What do you make of it? It's incredibly racist. Um, I think we're a nation of immigrants. The electorate um, elects you to get to Congress to represent values in your district. And as you meant, as uh, Andrew mentioned, you represent much more than that. Um, you know, I'm proud to be the daughter of immigrants from Mexico. I'm proud to bring a perspective and experience to Congress in my policy decision making. And that's what the diversity of the De Democratic Party does. And I'm proud that we have more women in Congress and more women of color in Congress than ever before. This yeah. also is not true for this, I mean, not new for this president. The fact is, is he told us a long time ago what he thought about countries uh, that are dominated by people of color. Uh, he called them s-hole countries, right? Yeah. Um, he has consistently demonized women. He sees a group of women of color and assumes that they are foreign and not from here. And I gotta, I gotta tell you, I don't think the president doesn't know better. I think he knows better. 
Uh, I think one, he probably wants to end on the fight, but two, this is a trope to his base to basically say these folks are not like you. I think we can all agree that whether it's Ilhan Omar or Melania Trump, they are American and That's they right. belong here and nobody should tell either one of them to go back where they And by the from. way, if you're a Somali refugee, you also belong here. She came here as a refugee, as a member of Congress. We ought to be okay. celebrating that story. Thanks one and all.